It cost British Columbia a lot of money to be the center of attention this winter. The province spent close to a billion dollars to host the Olympics. Now that the summer tourism season is at its height, Duncan McHugh checked to see if Olympic viewers have turned into visitors. Is tourism in BC post-Olympics soaring like Whistler's Peaks or, like everywhere else, a victim of the volatile world economy? Are you rejoining the tour? Yes. All right. I'll... Robert and Linda Malseed, here from New well, Mexico, were headed for an RV convention in Oregon, but decided to make a detour north after watching the Olympics. And it just seemed like everybody was very friendly and outgoing and all excited, and especially when they beat the United States in um, hockey. Hockey. So you saw that and you said, that's <laughs> yeah. Vancouver Whistler's a place I gotta go. Sure. <laughs> yes. That is music to David Udow's years, given the investment his company made in the Olympics. Their zip line over downtown Vancouver was a hit. Lineups, six hours long, plenty of media exposure, and it's starting to pay off. We've had just great feedback from people coming back saying, hey, I saw you. I actually, in some cases, didn't know you existed. We kind of thought everybody knew about us, but maybe that was... Maybe that was an unrealistic uh, expectation. But the Olympic afterglow is wearing off in beautiful Deep Cove. It's when there's water in your boat, you can pump it out, okay? <laughs> Young Richard Kropp, here from Germany, chose Vancouver over Sydney, Australia for his summer language course because of its natural beauty. Were the Olympics any influence? Not too much because of the time change there is. It's nine hours in delay in Germany, so... Um, that, have, that was kind of tough. I watched the snowboarders, like Sean White winning it. And but it, was... didn't, it didn't make a, a factor in, in you deciding to come here? No, it didn't. Owner Bob Putnam hasn't met one tourist who based their trip on the Olympics. You know, it's a tough one this year. We have the European economic uh, crisis and we have the U.S. Uh, economy on a downturn. So that may, you know, take away from any boost that we receive from the, from the Olympic interest. A bump in tourism, that was the main selling point for bringing the Olympics here. The province spent big money selling BC as a destination, $38 million on this ad campaign alone. Gotta be here. You gotta be here. And no doubt, awareness of BC is up. Have fun. 30 to 40 percent in places such as Germany and Australia. But the key question, are Americans ready to start traveling again? As ready as Linda is to jump. I'm not scared at all. You're not scared at all? Not a bit. No. I don't believe you. I've seen the Grand Canyon, so... <laughs> With some exceptions, Whistler's overnight visitors' numbers were flat in May and June due to lousy weather. The stakes for David Udow are as high as his canopy walk. Visits to Ziptrek's Whistler location were down, down, down during the Olympics. Still, he's taking the long view. We're in a spectacular place and we've been able to expose it to so many more people from all over the world. But has uh, exposure turned into I think numbers, it, I bums think in the seats? You know what? I think it's turning, I think it's turning into bums in seats and, uh, and people lying in hotel beds. But I don't expect, I, I, I never expected to say, oh, our business has doubled because of the Olympics. This is the Port of Vancouver. On the plus side, Vancouver has landed a half dozen major conventions thanks to the new, larger convention center. Vancouver tourism's bread and butter, American overnight visitors, are up 5% over last year. Not huge, but 